Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. I'm back, back, back again with another delicious, get free and super easy recipe. If like me, you're trying to reduce your calories after the crazy Christmas that we had, my recipe for today is a super easy and versatile way to do that. Of course, as you can probably see, I'm talking about cauliflower rice. For me, I feel like cauliflower is a completely underappreciated vegetable. There are so many things you can do with it. Uh, it's a good alternative for a lot of different foods. It's fantastic roasted just on its own, roasted with cheese, fried, you can make mash out of it, and like I'm gonna show you, you can also use it to substitute your rice. We're gonna rice our own cauliflower, but I'm also gonna show you not one, not two, but three ways to customize this so you can have completely different meals every time. You could, of course, buy your own cauliflower already riced, but I feel that they're super expensive. Fresh is always better, but of course, you can also buy a frozen, but those frozen ones have a lot of moisture, so whenever you go to cook it, your cauliflower rice will end up being really mushy. This is what I would consider a standard size of a head of cauliflower. This will make enough cauliflower rice for two people. We're gonna go ahead and start chopping this. I have already washed and let my cauliflower dry a little bit and also I freckled slightly. I've removed the stalk part because it's very hard so you don't want that in your cauliflower rice. Um, and I'm just going to chop it up now into smaller bits just to give my food processor a helping hand in a minute now when we go to actually rice it. And you can remove a bit of this extra stock bit here as well. Again, you don't want the top bit in your rice. I'm gonna put my top cauliflower now into the food processor. I'm also going to do mine in batches because I have a lot as I'm making three different recipes. And I probably suggest just use the same because otherwise you're not, you know, you're going to make it very hard for the food processor to actually rise all of the cauliflower. Now we're ready to pulse. This is roughly the consistency that you want your cauliflower to be and it pretty much resembles rice already. Even without my prep you can see that I still left some of the stock in so I'm just gonna throw this out. I have my mountain of cauliflower rice ready so now I'm gonna go and cook it. There are lots of different ways you can cook cauliflower rice. You can bake it in the oven and it gets really crispy. You can fry in the frying pan also for crispiness or you can steam it either in the frying pan, the oven or the microwave. The microwave is my least favorite way to do it because I don't know, I just don't like it because it's the microwave myself. So my favorite way is actually to cook it in a pan and we're gonna customize it with lots of different spices uh, to give it lots of different flavors. My first recipe is super simple. All you're gonna need is your rice cauliflower, some garlic, butter for frying, which you can also replace with oil, salt, and pepper. I'm going to preheat my pan to a medium heat. I'm going to put some butter into my pan. You can see my butter is already bubbling, so it means the pan is hot enough now. So I'm going to mince my garlic into the pan. Just give it a bit of a stir so it doesn't burn. Now that my garlic has started to brown, I'm going to throw in my cauliflower rice and give it a stir. You want to spread out your cauliflower like this so that it doesn't start releasing a lot of water and get mushy on you. We do want it to steam, so I'm going to put the lid on and leave it there for about three minutes. I've opened this halfway through to check and I'm gonna put a little bit of extra butter because butter makes everything better. At 
this point I'm also going to add my salt and some pepper. This is ready, so I'm not gonna plate up. As you can see, it's got some color and it's not mushy at all. There's my cauliflower rice. For a bit of extra flavor, and this is a bit of cheap, I'm gonna grate some Parmesan cheese on top. It's gonna be amazing. It smells so good. Are you gonna try it? Mmm. It is so tasty, it's nice and buttery, soft, but still has a bit of a bite to it. And that Parmesan cheese just, wow, this is the best. For our next recipe, we're gonna do some egg fried cauliflower rice. The ingredients that we're going to need are some grated ginger, minced garlic, our cauliflower rice, some chopped spring onion, some grated carrots, frozen peas, chopped onion, and an egg. I'm also going to use some sesame oil for frying, and for seasoning, I have some light soy sauce. I'm going to heat my pan on a medium heat and add my sesame oil. Sesame oil has a different smoking point to regular oil, so just be careful you don't overheat it. I'm going to throw in my garlic and my ginger. Let's give them a stir. And now I'm going to throw in my chopped onions. Since I'm using frozen peas, I'm going to throw these in now as well to help them fire. I'm going to add my carrots because your shredded is going to cook very quickly but you're also going to release quite a bit of water and I want to make sure that I evaporate a lot of that water before the cauliflower goes in so it doesn't get mushy. After a few seconds of stir frying, I'm going to crack in my egg. and quickly scramble this. Now it's time to add my rice. And give it a good stir to mix everything together. Next, I'm gonna go in with my soy sauce. And stir. Lastly, I'm going to add in my spring onions. Stir fry for about 30 seconds and then we'll be pretty much done. I'm going to have a taste. Mmm, that's tasting great. So, we're ready to play. this with some sesame seed. This looks so tasty, I can't wait to try it. But I like a bit of spiciness and get it with some sriracha on top. Our last recipe for today is going to be some coconut curry cauliflower rice. The ingredients that we need for this are, and we start with the spices, I've got some ground coriander, ground cumin, garam masala, chili powder, and turmeric. We need some minced garlic and grated ginger. I've got a chopped onion, two tablespoons of coconut milk, and our cauliflower rice. I've got some vegetable oil in my pan and I'm going to heat it up on a medium heat. I'm going to start by adding my spices in. 
I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of cumin, and a teaspoon of the garlic salt. Next, I have a teaspoon of my chili powder and two teaspoons of turmeric. And it is the turmeric that's gonna give us the beautiful yellow color. If you don't have all these different spices that I have and you have curry powder, you can use that instead. Stir until my spices become fragrant and then I'm gonna add my onion, garlic and ginger. Keep stirring your spices as well because you don't want them to burn. I'm adding in my garlic, ginger, and onions. Reduce your heat a little bit if you need to. I can smell all those amazing spices in the air. Next, I'm gonna add my coconut milk and mix it in. Everything's mixed in, so I'm gonna add my rice. I'm gonna season with salt. Tasting good. For a bit of garnish, I have some frozen coriander here that you have fresh, even better. Let's give it one final stir. Mm, this is perfect. Time to plate. This one's obviously a lot more saucy, but it's still delicious. And there is our coconut curry cauliflower rice. I'm gonna give it one final taste. Mm. Nice and soft, but also has a bit of a bite to it. You can taste all the spices, and that coriander just takes it to the next level. If you wanted a little bit more creamy, you could obviously add more coconut milk, but I think it's perfect as it is. Thank you for joining me for this week's video. Please do try these recipes and let me know which one's your favorite. Our aim is to bring you some really simple recipes that absolutely anybody can make at home and don't require a lot of specialized ingredients or tools. If that's the type of content that you're looking for, please make sure you subscribe, like my video, and comment below. And share with your friends if you know somebody else that might enjoy them as well. If you're looking for more low-carb recipes, make sure you check out my last video where I made the best low-carb bread. And if you stay till the very end of that video, there's some funny bloopers at the end too. With that, I leave you for this week, and enjoy. I think. <laughs>